And uh, one of the themes of the first half, unfortunately, was yellow. Too much yellow, as far as we're concerned. Uh, joining me uh, in just a few minutes will be the athletic director of Berean Christian, uh, John Illardo, who uh, is sitting in for Bill Bolander, who is not feeling well tonight. Bill, I know you're watching at home, and I know you got a, a six-pack of Pepsi and a bag of Doritos with you, and we hope that you're having a good time. Anyway, and hope that you're feeling better, too. Seriously, we mean that. We love you. But uh, I'll tell you, Mr. Alardo is... Uh, uh, he is not shy, and uh, and he's uh, given us some terrific commentary tonight. So, uh, Larry the Cable Guy is here. There were there was some more uh, festivities and presentations uh, going on at halftime. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy, uh, also known as Dan Whitney, to those of us in West Palm Beach who uh, saw him get his start, and that now is a very famous comedian. And here we go. The second half kickoff the is uh, underway. That uh, is going to go up the middle, and here is the speed we were talking about. That is Devontae Robinson, who could be, oh, looked like he might go all the way, but Berean Christian catches up to him. The kicker there, Jonathan Illardo, dragged him down, preventing what would have been a touchdown to open up the second half. But a lot of speed on the, this uh Village Academy team, and unfortunately, this one is coming back, and not a good way to start the second half with another yellow flag. And right now, we have a very special guest with Rick Blackwell on the sidelines. Rick. Okay, we are with Dan Whitney, Larry the Cable Guy, <laughs> and this is what, you, when you deal with Hollywood celebrities, <laughs> you know, you got to give them time because they're always getting pictures taken with fans. And hey, Dan. Hey, what's going on? You know what? Maybe you should be on that sideline because that was <laughs> that was a tough way to start the third quarter. No, well, I know I've been bringing them pretty good luck so far, and I come over here and I say hi to the other team. They run for a touch, and he almost a touchdown. But that's the power I have. You know, people get excited when I'm on their side of the field. You just give a little extra hitch in their giddy up or something. All right, we're going to be watching the game and talking to uh, Dan. But uh, first of all, we're going to try to make you get over there as fast as possible so you can also support your team as well. Let me just tell you, first of all, it's been a great night. I mean, the weather's beautiful. you got a nice field here. You guys are off to a 15-point lead after the first half. It's got to be really exciting. You know, it really is. The only down thing is there's no uh, portalettes around here. <laughs> so, I've, you know, I've been holding it in the entire time. That's... I we think got your camper over there. Don't you? Know, you know, they did bring me a nice camper, but I just haven't gone in the camper yet. It, it, but it was very nice of them to bring the camper. What is up with the penalties in this first half? I, it's it's I mean, unbelievable. You know what? I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I have not seen much of the game because I have been <laughs> signing footballs since this game has started, which is awesome. You know, but I really, I mean, I saw a couple of touchdowns and then... Uh, uh, I was back to sign a football, so, <laughs> but no, it's a blast. It's a good night tonight. Everybody's having a good time. All right, let's take you back to the Time Machine 1982 as Village gets ready to... Uh, this is the Time Machine 1982. We would be behind 36 <laughs> to 2 about right now. Well, you play, you were number 60, so I'm guessing you weren't the quarterback. Tell us about what kind of football play you were and what was Brian like back in 1982. Uh... You know what, uh, we actually had the best year we ever had in 1982. I think we went, I mean, I can't remember, but I think we won like five games that year. We upset a couple teams. They thought we were going to beat us. Uh, me, myself, sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so I was a baseball player. I wasn't much of a football player. I played, I actually uh, was an offensive guard, I think. And uh, it didn't go well. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I'm a baseball guy. Hey, can you give me a little play-by-play -play here as we got Village Academy right now? Yeah, uh, Village Academy, he's running up the middle, and he's tackled. And I don't know who made the tackle, but it was sure a fine tackle out there. <laughs> All right, not too bad. <laughs> to come, I don't, I don't have a list of who's out there, so I don't know. You, you've kind There's of told somebody the... injured. I do know somebody's injured. Maybe you go out there with some Band-Aids or help out. Uh, you know, you've kind of told the story about the athletic director calls you on the telephone and you say, how can I help out? But, I mean, did it really mean that much to you that oh, you yeah. really wanted to participate? It really did. I mean, what they did for me tonight was really nice. And honestly, God, I didn't, you know, that's cool that they wanted to do that. But, I mean, that's not the reason I did it. I did it because 
the school was always good to me. I, I loved going to school here. I had a lot of great times at the school. And you know what? And I just wanted to be able to give back to my school something. And, and I know when you're going to school somewhere, one of the fun things about high school and college is the football games and the basketball games. I mean, that's what you look forward to. And, you know, they weren't in for 20-some years. They never had that. So just to be able to bring football back is a really good deal. Now the kids have football games to look forward to. And not only that, you know, if kids are struggling in their studies and, and things like that, I mean, sports gives them an incentive to, to work hard and get their work done so they can play football and sports, you know. So I think, it, I think it helps out in a lot of ways. You know, if you've got a student athlete out there that wants to play football and there's a football team and he knows he's not going to play unless he gets his grades, that's a lot of good incentive for them to study harder and get their grades to work for something. It's good all the way around, you know. I'm glad that they got a football team back. They, uh, all those kids, I mean, everybody out here is having a blast. They wouldn't have this if they didn't have a football program. So it's, it's really nice to be able to help out in just a little bit, you know. I mean, forget the fact that all the money was stolen, all right. I, I, I did it with stolen money. And I'm not going to say how where I stole it, but... Uh, but no, it, it, it's really cool, you know. I'm glad I could be a part of it, you know. That's great. As we have a fourth down right now for Village, are you a big sports fan, big football fan? And uh, obviously you, you love Nebraska and, and the Huskers, but tell us about what your uh, alliances are. This is a, <laughs> like talking to Kermit the Frog here or something. <laughs> oh, I'm a big sports fan, yeah, definitely. I've been a Atlanta Braves fan for since I was 12 years old. But obviously I'm a big Nebraska Cornhusker football fan, have been my whole life i was born in southeast nebraska on a pig farm and let me tell you you grow up in nebraska you're a nebraska football fan hence my nebraska <laughs> chain that i always wear and it's always funny because our coach over there he played for miami and everybody over there is miami hurricane fans and we didn't have a good good time with them in the 80s you know they pretty much ran over so we got them back though in the 90s but uh yeah so it's a lot of fun over there. there's some good ribbon going on between the two of us we were talking about how you could be kind of the Jerry Jones of Berean. We got the retractable roof and, you know, calling down to the coach you put in place. Do you anticipate that you're going to have that kind of relationship where you're going to be, you know, consistently a part of the program from now on? Well, look, no, I'm going to stay out of it. Just let them play football and have fun. I, you know, I like coming to the games every now and then. So they did give me a lifetime pass to all the games, which is nice. So, you know, that'll be fun. Oh, we almost got hit right there. They did give me a lifetime pass to the game, so that's, you know. <laughs> You're about ready to get into a three-point stance, weren't you, and take on that kid as it came Oh, out. I was about to hammer that dude. <laughs> I was about to hammer him. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, it's nice to be able to get down here. I'm on tour all the time. I work all the time. I, I, I enjoy what I do. So I don't really get to get down here much anymore. My mom's not here anymore. She's back in Nebraska. So, you know, there's not a lot of times I get down here. So just the fact I was able to come to this game is, is, is awesome. I'm glad I was able to come here. And uh, we'll let you go here in just a second. But your message to the kids because they're getting your picture taken with you. <laughs> they're and... awesome. Let me tell you, my fans are awesome. I mean, I, I can't say enough nice things about them. You know, I, I'm glad they like what I do. I'm glad they like my comedy. And uh, some things probably their parents shouldn't let them listen to every now and then, but, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's just, I just really got good fans. They're good people. They're just like me. They're regular people. They like to laugh. And, uh, yeah, I do. I love my fans a lot. And everybody out here that's taking pictures, they're the best. You know, You're the I'm best. Not, I'm not one of those guys that yeah. gets popular and they're like, man, just quit doing that. Quit taking my picture. I ain't signing any. You know what? Why do you even do what you do if, if you don't like that? I mean, I love it. I'm glad that I, it's it's nice to know they appreciate what you do. And so that's awesome. I'm going to tell you what, if I came out here and nobody said nothing to me, that's when I got problems. <laughs> you know, but right now we're all right. So well, That's what I was going to say. Besides that, I'm fit and trim. I look better than a lot of the other yeah. past players that came back. Yeah. You Is there know, a little competition with the guys in Well, you know, too? everybody was in much better shape than I was when we were in our playing days. And, you know, the older we get, then you see some people, you're like, oh, man. And uh, I, I, uh, I'm definitely the Brad Pitt of 1982 with our football team. I mean, I can't see anybody else over there that's any better looking than I am right now at this point. All right, well, Mr. Pitt, <laughs> was that? Mr. Whitney. And I'm not uh, trying to be cocky. I'm just saying, look at this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know? Yeah. That's it. Uh, <laughs> I'm a rope. I'm a rope. <laughs> we got a little plug in there. 
Well, well thanks a lot, yeah, and, and congratulations on doing this because it, it really means a lot to the kids, I know. And, and he is amazing with his fans, too. To see him you know, talk to the kids, it really means a lot to them. And so oh. it means a lot to us that you were on the air with us today, too. Y'all get away from me. I love them today. No, just, no, no, they're awesome. And thanks for having me. It's a lot of fun. I, I'm having a great time here tonight. Thank you. are deep in enemy territory here, too. We're not enemy We could steal awesome. the play. Let me tell you something about this other team. I love them to death. First thing they said, I would come walking over here, and they all went, hey, get her done. <laughs> so it was awesome. They're all, they're all, it's all, it's all for the fun of the sport. You know, we're having a good time. Obviously, I want our team to win, but, you know, they're, they're good dudes. Friday Night Lights right here, Dan Whitney, Larry the Cable Guy. Once again, thanks a lot, Larry. I oh, appreciate it. Thanks Dan. a lot, everybody. <laughs> All right, Dan, how about that? You talk about a good sport. He's going to sign some autographs, take some pictures. Back to you upstairs. Thank you, Rick. As Berean Christian begins its second year of football after that interview with Larry the Cable Guy, <laughs> or so it seemed. No, I tell you what, though, it was a very long interview, uh, but i got to say, very entertaining and what a great guy he's a, as i said in the first half there he genuinely is a good guy uh i mean what you see is what you get uh whether he's on stage or or uh, backstage or, or in the car or, uh, he's just a, he's just a genuinely good guy I, I mean i brought him over to the campus he hadn't seen our campus uh, and so we went on campus and he didn't turn away a kid uh, to sign an autograph, to sign a shoe, to sign a, uh, the back of their shirt, or and, and you know we had to go. I, I mean, yeah. I felt like a publicist. It was like, uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, he he uh, he he is a genuinely good guy, and uh, and I appreciate Dan Whitney and what he's done for for our athletic program. Now, as far as on the field action, Berean has the ball, and they are driving and up the middle. A nice run, a pickup of about. 12 to 13 yards there. And yeah, it looks like that was uh, Nick Orwater. Yeah. Hey, I got it right that time. You did. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> uh, and that is going to set up a first and goal for Berean uh, during the interview. Um, once again, we saw, we saw that yellow flag creeping out. And uh, my goodness, my goodness, a lot of penalties tonight. <laughs> but uh, but that's that's what you get with, again, with two first year uh, first year teams. We just hope that the refs will let exercise play. a little discretion. Let them play. The ref, uh, well, I not, guess you can't not let them play there. on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, is, there, is there such a disease as referee's elbow from yeah, throwing that flag? Yeah, some type of tendonitis. Yeah, yeah, or you wish, you <laughs> wish there was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to remind you, the score is 21-6. to six. Berean leads. It is... Uh, we're six minutes and 14 seconds uh, to go in the third quarter. We are at uh, Olympia Park in Wellington, Florida. This is the third game of the year for Berean Christian, who is resurrecting its football program for the first year uh, uh, since 1982, as we have talked about. And right now, here's our quarterback, Johnny Lance. And the give is going to be up the middle. That's once again to our water and he's not going to get in close to the goal line but he's going to be about a yard short and that's only going to be second down so an excellent uh, scoring opportunity here and if they can punch it in and get the extra point that would uh that would give your guys a pretty commanding lead well you know I, I really did feel like coming into tonight's game we probably were a two touchdown uh, team better uh, i i picked 28 14 as the final um, but, I mean, you know, there's a lot of football to go, and by no means is, is this a done deal yet. That's right. Here goes Lance with the give. A little scramble. Nope. That was a touchdown. I was going to say it almost looked like there was a scramble for the ball. But in for the touchdown. Was that Orwater again? Uh, Johnny Lance, I think, just quarterback. Oh, just took it himself. Yeah, took uh, a sneak. Quarterback sneak. And... Uh, I told you, uh, Lance, four of seven. Well, you may not have heard this, but no, four, of, four of seven for 97 yards in the first half, and uh, two of those throws for touchdowns, and uh, picks up another one on the ground here tonight. And doing the duties on extra points here, Michael Miller. Here's the snap. The hold is good. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So with just over five minutes to go here in the third quarter, Berean Christian stakes itself to a 28-6 lead over Village Academy. 